All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in this short video, I'm going to show you the size of septic tank soak away that you need for your property. Let's get straight into this. So the first thing you need to know is that there's two types of soak aways. Number one, there's a herringbone type soak away, which you can see on the image now. And number two, there's something called septic tank drainage field crates which you can see in the image now. So what's the difference between the two soakways and which one is best for you? Let's start with the herringbone soakaway design. So the herringbone soakaway is so called because it's in the shape of a fishbone, okay? And it comprises of quite a few components. You've got the gravel or shingle, you've got the pipes, you've got the connectors that connect the pipes together and you've got an inspection chamber and the size of these particular soakaways can be anything up to like the size of a football field so yes they're massive okay so that's basically how the herringbone system is made how it's constructed what about the drainage field crates so drainage field crates are exactly as they're described. They're plastic crates, they look like milk crates, and the number of crates that you need depends on the number of bedrooms you've got. You dig a hole and you put the required number of crates in and you cover them with membrane. Job done, it, it really is that easy. So I suppose now let's compare the two. Which one should you go for and which is the best uh, soak away design and why? All right, so here you can see the contrast between the two soakaways. So there you go, you've got your herringbone system, which is what, 90% bigger, isn't it, than the drainage field crates. And that's just a small herringbone system. Price-wise, it'll cost you about two to 3,000 pounds to construct a herringbone system like that. And it'll probably take you three to four to five days to do. Now, when you compare that to the drainage field crates, the drainage field crates, right, that, that particular kind of design, that soak away will cost you 90% less. So you'll save yourself two to 3,000 quid. It takes literally uh, a half an hour, an hour to install compared to five days. And um, the beauty is, right, the drainage field crates are fully legal. Uh, they're, they're building regs compliant, the environmental agency compliant, and um, they come with a BS standard. So I suppose you're going to ask me now, why do people still insist in installing a herringbone soakaway? Now, that's a good question, but basically it's to do with um, ignorance, misinformation and tradition. So in the 50s, right, um, no one knew what a septic tank soakaway was. So uh, an architect actually invented, he said, oh, well, this is the most efficient um, kind of soakaway design. And they've been using this design since the 50s. And in building regs, which isn't mandatory, meaning it isn't law, they suggested in the 50s and the 60s, oh yeah, that, that's a good idea. Um, we suggest people use it, but notice the word suggest it, they don't it's not law right you don't have to use that particular design so the drainage field crates have been around for about five to seven years now and as i said they're fully legal um building rigs love them and not only do they only take an hour to install they'll they'll save you two to three thousand pounds compared to the price of constructing your own herringbone system so for me it's a no-brainer which one to go for for me any day i'd go for the drainage field crates for many many reasons they work as well if not better than the old herringbone system they're more efficient they're more effective um, they have a 60 ton bearing load and they last tripping they've got that they've got a lifespan you know of like 50 60 years compared to 15 years of the herringbone system so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today i hope it helps you decide which soak away that you should go for or at least uh, helps you to make an informed decision but listen you take care uh, my name as i said my name is jason from septictank.co.uk speak to you soon